you know, I'm always a part of it, but Jenny's the pro. I need so. a pattern. Oh, I got one right here. Phew. Let's do our demo for today. I hope you guys like it. We can kind of notice it's Tuesday, so maybe you haven't seen a theme yet, but there is a theme. There is. For back to school. You are a material girl. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Um, yeah, we should sing that. That should be our theme song for the show. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, only we won't sing it. We'll just play a little recording of it. Or we'll just pretend like that never happened. Save that for Tug Karaoke, Jenny. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't know if that's part of the plan, but that would be hilarious. I mean, why not? Chris I sings. I don't sing. You all just heard evidence as to why. No, no. You sing. You held a note. It was. I actually can't hit a note, but that doesn't mean I should. Okay, so we are going to be demoing. I'm sorry, Sue. She's still having problems with the freezing. I don't know what to That's tell so you. That's like, so frustrating. Should we go yell at everyone? Get off your computer, everyone. Go for a walk. If we knew that was what it was all about. Are you going to show the final product project oh, first? Oh, that's a good idea. That way you know what steps she's taking. Okay, so we have, I mean, I demoed the mini, like what, six months ago? Yeah, a this while ago. This is our zip, our box zipper pouch. It is our one of our all-time classic favorites. People love great, it. It's a great, like, quick fun, fast thing. And my mom makes them for my nieces and nephews all the time. Yeah. For like back to school. And then Very she fills usable. it with crayons. Oh, cute. And yeah. Um, you could just put somebody's favorite candy. You can never have too many little totes, mm -mm. little carry things. Great um, toiletry bag, sewing wow. notion bag. But they're super easy and super fast and fun to make. And the nice thing is there's no like turning it right side out. It's all raw edges, which... You can either bind or I usually go back and surge. Mm. Um, our cute little Allie made this. I don't think she's ever made one of these before. I don't think so she has. We're just going to keep going. I'm sorry you were frozen. Mm. Hopefully, Hopefully in the, the end it will works. all replay very nicely. So we're so sorry. Should we log out and come back on? I don't think we can do that. Can I don't we? think we can do that. Mm -mm. If we can, I'm afraid. I so. don't dare. So anyway, we're going to take two pieces of fabric and just two fat quarters or will work for this. You'll have a little bit of scrap, but not much. And we're going to cut them to 12 by 15. So you got a front and a back. And then pretend that I haven't already sewn this. You need some soft and stable or Kimberbell's Flexi foam, or I think Pellon has one. But just foam interfacing. Yeah. Okay? Makes it nice and stiff. So what you'll do with that is you can do two things. On this one, she just quilted the front, but not the inside. And that's okay. Uh, I kind of like it. If I was going to turn something right side out, I'd do it like this. Meaning if I had to flip it. You know what I'm trying to say mm -hmm, here? Mm -hmm. If like these were finished seams and that wouldn't show up. Otherwise, I think it's just nice to get it all quilted at the same time. It's a little bit nicer. So I have put these together, quilted front and back. Um, I just used a serpentine stitch on this one. I did straight or I mean wavy lines about press her foot apart. This side got a little bit bigger. I mean, I don't want it to make it sound like she didn't have this already planned, but the amount of time that she put into this to get this going, these are so fast to put together, especially <laughs> yeah. when you know what you're talking about. Yeah. And actually for, for, for Allie's sake, for making this from the pattern is, without anybody telling her what to sewer. do. Yeah. I'm really impressed. So if, if you want, it's for all ages, yeah. I actually used this pattern and, and taught my 12 year old niece when I was doing her sewing lessons. And so it's a great one for lots of reasons. So yeah, anyway, and you can use uh, Kimber Bell Lace Zipper. Our pattern has instructions for both, or you can use a regular zipper. If you're using a regular zipper, you will sew this on like a regular zipper, right sides together. If you're using a lace zipper, you're actually, and I would probably either serge or zigzag that. So I need to do that before I sew my zipper on. I should have done that while we were we're prepping. still We're just demoing, right? Yep. Sharon says you can also use pre-made placemats too. Yeah, that would work as well. Um, you know, and you could use a lighter weight interfacing. It just won't stand up as well. So we're going to go to the sewing machine and I'm going to hurry and zigzag my edges. I was hoping to have a little more um, stepped out demo for you, but I got way too involved in picking out bundles for you to buy. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's a little crazy on the fabric. I love fabric. Which one should I do? Um, Which one should I do? The swimsuits for oh, sure. They're over here. Don't hurt yourself, lady. We're good. We're oh, good. 
and we had a class in here right before we got started. So, basically you've cut two pieces of fabric, put flexi foam, in, flexi foam say that five flexi times foam. fast, uh, in the middle and just quilted it together. So you've got a quilt sandwich, right? Ugh. And there's enough here for um, when you have your fat quarter, you can also do your little strap as well. Um, We're going to see how quick and fast. Sorry, the embroidery machine was on from the class before this. <laughs> so um, Larry says we love the bundles, Jenny, so we forgive you on the demo. Oh, Larry. <laughs> I'm going to go get white thread out here because I don't want cream. The other thing, too, is she wants everything that she makes to be useful. So unlike me, if when I get in a pinch, I'm like, oh, whatever, just give me whatever color. I'll just deal with it later. But I'm fussy. She's a little fussier, which is funny because I feel like I'm fussy, but not when it comes to trying to hurry and get stuff done. Um, oh, is the flexi the is the flexi foam fusible? No, you it's can not. use a fusible, but you don't need to. Yeah, you really don't. It it and you used a walking foot on this. I did. Yeah, and I bumped up my stitch length to about a four. Okay. Of course, they're all different on different machines, but yeah. But um, when you're sewing through multiple layers, you're going to definitely want a thicker stitch, a bigger stitch length. So. Just works well and when you're quilting too you don't want it to be and you know i've used lots of other decorative stitches um fun fact when you're winding a bobbin you want to wind it at about mid speed did you know that yes okay because i sure hope so i used to sell machines i know well, i'm just <laughs> you never know no 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 you never know um i did not know that though until i started working here so. that's my sister-in-law she's nice <laughs> Um, this one is not Chris says. Yeah. Um, yeah. It, it, and you know, um, I don't actually like the fill of the flexible or of the, what's it called? The fusible flex. Yes. Foam. Um, when you're winding the bobbin, the reason you would want to do half speed is that you can get more, um, you can get more thread on your bobbin. No, no, no. So well, that's one of the reasons. Okay. <laughs> As you can see, it stretches when yes. you go fast and you don't want that. You don't want your thread to stretch, stretch either. So, Yeah. Where's my... Okay. Sorry, so... everyone. Okay. So we are going to sew the zipper on and actually just prop the thing down low. I'm going to just show. Sharon says she's watched and watched and it's never been this bad. I don't know what's going on. I don't. It's probably not even something we have control over here in the room. So we're just going to sew this. You can use a zipper foot, um, a regular presser foot. I probably want clips. Where are our clips? Right there. Handy dandy wonder clips. I'm just going to clip these on, kind of. You can pin them. I'll pull them as I go. So if you have a serger, you'd go ahead and do a oh, serge on the edge, right? I'm actually do that right now. Thank you. Sorry. Zigzag <laughs> stitch. And does it matter what kind of zigzag stitch we're working at? I don't know. You tell Do me. you want me to show you? Remove embroidery foot with LED painter or the machine. I did. You're okay. It's not sewing. Watch one in doubt on a sewing machine. Turn it off. Um, on the zigzag stitch, I think I would just do the same thing as you did. Lengthen your stitch out a little bit. Yeah. Okay. There we go. That is the IT crowd. Have you tried turning it back on and off again? Yes. Yep. I'm just sewing without a pedal here. That's not scary. I love to sew without the pedal. I probably should have, like she said, bought my stitch length up here. That's okay. You know what? It's working just fine. You just use the preset from the machine. As long as you don't try to rush it through, it does just yeah. fine. And the reason I'm doing that is it um, gives it a finished edge and also just looks a little bit nicer. So we'll bump it up this time to a two. How's your arm? Hey. The stiletto would be handy here too because it is kind of bunching up a little bit just to keep it smooth, but it's okay if it puckers. It will pucker a little bit, but if you've done your quilting close to the edge, then 
like you've done, it shouldn't be yeah. too bad. And I probably should have used navy blue thread, but I don't have any. So, and you're going to want to just make sure when you're lining the zipper up that it's not over here so that it doesn't get caught. So you're going to line that lace up, right? The zipper edge, right on the edge of where you just zigzagged. And then are you going to just stitch as close to the zipper as possible or mm -hmm. out? Okay. I'm going to use pins. You know, zippers really aren't as bad as they seem. Now, have you, are you centering this for any, are you making it a certain length on one edge versus the I'm gonna other? I'm going to cut these off so it doesn't really matter. Just make sure before you cut it off that you move your zipper to the center. And then I'm going to. Yeah, you don't want to cut off that cute zipper pull. Mm -mm. So I'm kind of just eyeballing it. I want to press her foot. This is bugging me. <laughs> okay. So I'm kind of just eyeballing. I've got a center thing right here and I'm just going to kind of run that along the edge. I've got my needle over to the left. You know, sometimes I feel like when I use a zipper foot, it kicks out from under me. Like I think I like having a presser foot over the top of my zipper. I actually really like a zipper foot, but I don't know where one is. So <laughs> it's just a personal preference, but this is working just fine. Your presser foot's down on that shelf right there if you want another one. The zipper? No. The presser foot's just sitting on that shelf if you want it. What are you doing Go ahead and about? finish. I like this foot. So when I said that, I meant foot pedal. Oh, foot pedal. I mean, yeah. I your foot's on. You know what? what? I confuse. I I say the wrong thing every single time. Okay, so this is on, and that was super easy. I haven't caught my zipper on anywhere. If I open that up, it opens nicely. Yes. And that is kind of what you want to do. And I love I these Kimberbell lace that. zippers. They're so cute. They add a nice little decorative touch. You really do. And then, so if you were sewing this with a regular zipper, you would have sewn this face side down and then you're going to do right sides together. But because the lace zippers just fit on top, they're kind of a top going stitch. on top. So don't be confused if you're using a regular zipper. Um, and probably, I think the instructions tell you to find your center and follow the directions. Line it up nice. We're just, for the interest of time. So your foot pedal's right there if you want. Oh, my foot pedal. I'm going to speak English now. I was like, my presser foot? I have a presser <laughs> foot. I don't know why. It's the foot thing. Presser foot, foot pedal, so tomato, tomato. So you're going to line up your edges here. Hopefully you have a straight piece to work with. And I'm just going to pin those down. I feel bad. Carol Lisa, like gets really close to me, and I'm pretty sure I have lunch breath. So um, sorry I, about that. I, don't worry about it. <laughs> I've never, ever had a whiff of your breath. You, you're just fine. <laughs> what did we eat? It was not a good idea. You had chili <laughs> and yeah. baked potato. We Wendy's. went to Wendy's. My middle son, it's his last day. So he said he's what he's really going to miss is a good lunch every time he works. He doesn't usually feed himself at home by himself. Okay, we're going to unzip that and open it up. And then again, just gonna stick that on. Don't you wish you could do demos like two times speed? I know. Your arm? When we're live like that, go ahead. Okay. When we're live, it's like, sorry, ah, shoot. I can't speed her up. Where's the pressure foot? Right there on the shelf. Go up. Aha. You'll sorry. be happier. I can't finish these stuff with a button. Wait, hang on. I'm getting in front of you. There's oh, Jenny's head. hair. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I'm starting to sweat. It's hot in here. It is a little warm in here. Okay. There we go. We got it. Now, this is not going to be quite as nice as my last one. It is a little tricky here. And that's just because it's a zipper you're sewing on top, right? Yeah, and I'm being an idiot. We don't even need to know. Well, I should have given myself a little more length here when it opened. Oh, I see. But I missed. This is an awesome demo, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny, this is what you get a one up here in the future. Look, I think 
think you're just, that's better. Can you come behind so you don't have to? I just want to maybe not have a wonder clip underneath me. Okay, sorry. I didn't pin that very good. You know when people are watching you get nervous? Yeah, that's where I'm at right now. Okay. Can you see what I'm doing? This shirt makes me look like a tank. Oh, no. I love that shirt. I think it's really cute. I don't think Jenny could look like a tank, even if she tried. Sherry sure, says, what not to do, real life sewing. <laughs> you know, this is oh, why boy. it's always nice to make a first draft on something you don't love, like fabric you don't love. Oh, no, we'll make it work. But you know just... what? I just don't ever have time. <laughs> I think I'm going to do, like, my mock-up. There you go. And I, I don't. Okay, okay that so looks really good. If you're making this, little fun fact tip. Put this part as close to the edge as you can so that when you open up the sew it, you don't run into the end of your zipper. But look how slick and easy that should have been. <laughs> okay. I don't know. It only took you five minutes. We're good. Oh, good. We're and good. so she would have had the same problems. And um, Linda, you couldn't see what I was doing. I was just really poorly sewing a zipper onto this. So. Yeah. She had sewn the other zippo on, zipper on. Zippo. Like a pro. And then if you look at my second side, I look like I was. You dead. know, it looks great. It looks great. It does. Okay. So we've Next. gotten to this point. Okay. What we're going to do is. We're going to grab the pattern. Yep. I think we got to make our handle. So you'll have a five by seven, I believe, piece of fabric. I need to Did cut you bring off. Yours in? Yeah, but you okay. left me the selvage. I don't want um, the selvage. You can just cut it off. If I were scissors, I would definitely do that. Okay. Well, you read the pattern. I'll go grab it. Okay. So we're going to, um, these are our instructions. So I just did that part and sewed the zipper. And it does give you instructions for a regular zipper and also a lace zipper. Um, and then, thank you. Go for it. Well, you know what? I was thinking, I'm just going to eyeball it and do a pretty good yeah, job. Yeah, go for it. But then when I do stuff like this, Jenny's like, what are you so I was totally expecting you to She's yell at me. me. What are you doing? You're doing that wrong. And then it's going to become this okay. thing. It'll become a thing. <laughs> so we are going to center this. Okay. Took your salvages off. And I am going to move my zipper into the middle. Okay. And then we're just going to sew. Actually. Your zipper, meaning your, like, your zipper pull part. Okay. First of all, let's be smart about this. Right sides together. You don't want your seam on the outside. <laughs> No, you don't. Because Kelly says, like, do you want me to demo? I'm like, I got it. <laughs> she did. She's like, no, no, no. I'm good. I'm good. I've, I've made these a thousand times. You're doing great. Okay. You're doing great. Okay. So we are going to do right sides together, and we're just going to sew a quarter of an inch here and here. Okay. And Deb says but, we have we have better learning when you mess up, because it's well, always nicer to learn from somebody else's mistakes than your own, right? You're going to love my classes, Deb. <laughs> Let's see, 27. So we want to just make sure our zipper, or I mean, it's seven, it just is three and a half. <laughs> I hope Chris is talking. Mary says, Mary says, Jenny is all a flutter since Johnny B arrived. My boyfriend came. <laughs> you know, it, it was all downhill from that comment. <laughs> oh, wow. You know what? I am in such a space that if we got to giggle and I don't think I'd stop, I'd end up in tears. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just going to, I've centered my zipper, which is about three and a half. Okay, we're going to sew, I have moved my zipper pull, at least I remember to do this or else we would have been unpicking. Move my zipper pull into the middle because I'm going to cut this off. And if you cut that off with the zipper, then you get to try and put your zipper back on, which is fun. Is All right, so we're going to come over to the sewing machine, quarter of an inch. You actually probably don't need to backstitch that, but it's going to get cut off. You got a pretty tiny, tiny length there. Yeah, you probably want to bump your stitch length up too. And my, um, these machines can handle it. My pouch wasn't quite square. So I realized I look like I sewed like a drunken sailor. I'm going to cut that off and square it up. This side is better. Okay, 
So next, our next step is we are going to box out our pouch. Now and this part can be confusing for some, my part. but it is my favorite part. And it's, yeah, I like doing it this way. So we're gonna measure an inch and a half in from, this is the stitch line and the edge. So one and a half. You're basically like, just drawing a, a- Did I really get a red pen? <laughs> you really got a red pen. Oh my gosh. Oh. I'm going home. Yes, absolutely walking foot. It, yeah. You know, you I'm can do it without, words. but it's just a whole lot easier. Why do we never have any tools in this classroom? Well, we do. They're just probably all put away. Okay. Why can't they all be in the same spot? All right. So I'm just going to draw a one and a half inch square. Like, so I don't know if you can see that, but I drew a one and a half inch square. On each corner, On right? each corner from my stitch line and the edge. So my stitch line here and the edge. Don't do edge to edge because then you'll get a weird, it oh, yeah. actually be square. Good to know. Not the edge, the stitch line. Do you want to plug in that iron? Okay. Thank you. What would you do without me, Jenny? I don't know. Go insane. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I'm already there. That was the right thing to say. My life would be so boring. We need some scissors. Do we have any? We do. We do. Huzzah. And then we're just going to cut this out. They're even decent scissors. Now that never happens. I know. <laughs> we don't have fabric scissors around here. I had some pinking shears in there and I was like, no. <laughs> no. Okay, so we're just going to cut these out. When I first did one of these, it made me really nervous to cut that box out. I know, me too. Because <laughs> it's like, okay, anytime you cut something. We're in it for the long haul. Now, if you had Karen K. Buckley scissors, these would go through this like butter. I love the Karen K. Buckley scissors. Me too. What's the other brand that we carry? Tim, Tim Holtz. Holtz. Yeah, those are good those too. Those are good too. Just don't cut your finger off. Right. Okay. I love them because they'll snip all the way to the end. Yes. And these are close, but not quite. All right. I'm going to... Deb says, a true friendship. You can share the insanity. We do that pretty dang good, don't we? <laughs> yeah, we're probably too good at it. <laughs> All right. So um, I would recommend zigzagging this. I'm not going to make you guys watch me do that part. But all we're going to do here is... I'm going to show it. Just what you've done here. Okay. So I've cut out... There. Four corners. Beautiful. Now we're going to sew half of these together, but not the other half because we got to add a handle. And I would recommend... Let's see. Where's our little sample? I'll go grab it. Oh, it's right here. Oh, right here. here. You okay. already grabbed it. I did. So I'm going to make sure that my handle is going on the part. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but I'm probably going to do it. Where you can top. hold on to it mm -hmm. and then pull the zipper open. Yep. Yeah. Okay. If you wanted to add a tab or something, like you could do that before you threw in here. And if you wanted to add like a little tab at the bottom here to hang on to before you sew this seam. Throw that in there. That's not in our instructions. Donna says she cannot wait to meet us at Tug. You're <laughs> our heroes. <laughs> Aw, thanks, Donna. Very sweet. Okay, so this is my top one. So I don't want to sew that part in yet, but I am going to sew this bottom part. Just a quarter of an inch along here and also here and then zigzag. Okay? Here we go. Now this I will backstitch. It's going to take a lot of... Um, well, I don't know. With that tied up a stitch length, you may not need a back stitch. True. <laughs> okay, and then I'm just going to hurry and quickly do a zigzag. You could serge this as well. And that's just so it stays nice and neat on the inside of the bag. Mm -hmm. I Serger like it. would make it look a little more professional. But, so I've done that. I'm hurrying to. But in a pinch, the zigzag's really not too bad. Mm -mm. It does what it's supposed to do. Plus, if you're making these for little kids... They don't care. <laughs> no, they do not. Okay. Heavens, most adults don't really care either. No. So we have... But I would be one of those that would. So if you could just make sure you search mine, that'd be great. I know. If I was making it for Carol Lisa, I would search it. <laughs> so if you look at this, ta-da, we have boxed that out. Thus, the boxy tote. Woohoo! Okay, so let's talk handle. Handle. So we're not quite done. We're close, but not quite. Um, 
I think our pattern calls for some light. What, I'm going to clean up your mess so that you. we can see what we're doing. It says deco bond interfacing. I would probably, you can use that. I don't even. You know I what I did what when I, I did mine? I think I just did a double layer fabric. I did shape flex. You don't, it's up to you. Am I going the wrong way? No. This doesn't seem big enough. Five by seven. That's what it says. So what you're going to do is put your interfacing in here. If you've got shape flex or fusible backing or deco bond, whatever you want. Or if you don't really care because it's for a kid. I didn't say that out loud. <laughs> You're it's gonna, true, though. There are just certain things kids just don't pay attention to. Yeah. You're going to press towards the inside, inside, you know, like you'll fold it in half and then press to your center and then fold it in half and press. So I'm just going to hurry and hit that with the iron. And then the more stitches you put on this, the sturdier it'll be. But I'm just gonna probably quickly. So you could just do like a line every quarter of an inch. Yeah, or I'll do like the edge of each presser foot. Mm -hmm. But for the sake of time, you guys get it. So did you make your kids their school clothes this year? Me? I mean, you like to sew. I just thought maybe. I haven't even taken them school shopping. <laughs> you can't make kids school clothes. It's too expensive. I have boys. Do you think they'd wear it? Not a chance. Not a chance. So I just quickly did three little lines there. It's hard to see with this backlight here. All right. So now we are going to. You can put the computer down. It's going to take a sec. All right, so I've got this side now, and I'm gonna quickly zigzag. Actually, I'm gonna clean that edge up because it's a hot mess. Sorry, whoever uses that rotary cutter next. <laughs> zigzag that part real fast. How many people have we confused so far? Well, we're talking about mini being the size. And I think, so Allison's saying that this is, this is the Allison. I mean, Allie is what we call her around here. She is saying that this is the mini. It's size. not the mini. Either way, the deal of the day. It's for the bigger one. The mini I um, demoed maybe six or seven months ago. It's basically the same concept. You just use smaller pieces of fabric. And it fits so. inside the bigger one. It's so pretty cute. much. Okay, so what I've done here, I should have explained that as I was doing it. I'm going to get my little strap, stick it in this hole, and center it on my seam. So I have my seam here. Here's my hole. I've placed my strap in there, and then I'm just centering it right on that seam. Okay, and then we will push that together. And stitch her up. Stitch her up. And that is how you add the handle. Well, one half of it anyway. Yep. One half the side. Oh, oops. There we go. No zigzag there. Not quite yet. Now we'll zigzag. Do you ever use spray check? Not on a bag like this, but on other little seams that are on the inside? Yeah. I like spray check. If something starts to come undone, I'll throw some on there. Okay. So I'm just going to leave this right here while you okay. show. So we've got one handle in on this side. And oops, I missed a corner. But be careful you know when what? you're sewing. Slow down. Take your time. It's not a race. <laughs> we'll fix that later. Okay, so again, I've got my little hole here. I'm going to get the strap, push it through here, center it. And then to make sure that I don't do that again, just swoop your finger in there. I unfortunately do this more often than I'd like to admit. Make sure everything's make sure unwrinkled. That, 
piece is sitting in there flat and then that's centered. and then you can maybe even seam it a little bit yeah that one got away sucked from the edge. in it's kind of it's a little kinda, trickier with this with the flexi foam it kind of wants to do its own thing well and also if you start out with a zigzag stitch you're just asking for trouble so <laughs> Yeah, back, back stitch on these boxed corners is a good idea. Gives it a little more stability. So I will zigzag that edge. And then we just push this out. And voila. We have ourselves a cute little bag. How cute is that? And honestly, this is an hour project or less. It wasn't even that, because honest, every I had every. I mean, the I guess I'm I counting done. the cutting and the, yeah. the quilting, but. We cut that pretty quickly. Yeah, for sure. We did tag team it. But I'm saying if it were just you at home doing projects, you could get that done in an hour. Cut to finish. I like to do about six at a time. So oh, I'll just do all my steps. Like I make all of this and then I add all my zippers. Well, and they're then fat I box quarter all friendly. My corners. Yeah. They're fat quarter friendly. So that's really nice. Okay. Should the we... pattern on the deal of the day is for the mini. Um, Deborah, I will make sure that gets fixed. Both of them. It should be the boxed zipper pouch. They must have found the wrong one. So I'll find the right one and get it for you it's 2.99 on sale today and then free to club members and if you're in if you have the club it's in the portal already yeah my Marian fabric says, was that's um, super easy it was really 12, great my fabric is 12 by 15 and the handle is five by seven so yeah yeah so that was it i mean i realized i was a bit of a hot mess but let's go back over here we got it close we'll and go back to where the lighting is perfect for us <laughs> Oofta, that was not my best quality work. That's okay. You know what? Um, you guys can see what it's all about, and it's still pretty cute. So, ta-da! Look how cute that is. And the fabric, this fabric's directional. I don't think it really matters if it would have been going the other way, but I no. decided to. But it actually, I like, I like, if yeah, I were I to do. choose a direction, I would go with that. So, so yeah, just I agree. slow down, take your time. Don't go as fast as you can when people are watching you live. Um, Allie said she just fixed it. Oh, okay. Okay, perfect. Thanks, Allie. Correct pattern is on deal of the day. Sorry about that. <laughs> but the mini one is cute, too. I actually like that one a lot. It's about this Okay, big. what isn't better in a small size? I don't know, Everything's I don't know better. what you can actually put in it. You were there at lunch when mm -hmm. Jackie brought... It was like that big. It was sea salt. Oh, yeah. And it was the size of a chapstick. 